You should always expect a knockout, you know? Don't ever not expect a knockout from Keith One Time Thurman. To another edition of Boss Tour. Today we've got Paul Butler versus Solani Tete yep. for the IBF Super, IBF Super, Super Flyweight, Super Flyweight title. Um, let's start with Paul Butler. He's got like, uh, uh, let's forget we even he's boxing, he's got like this crazy fan base. Oh yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's got love. He's and actually, I mean, we, we, I've got a couple of tweets though. You guys haven't done a Paul Butler video. You guys, I was like, come on, oh, no, come on. No, no, we have done Paul Butler video. We have talked about Butler. No, we, we, we have you know. I think we used to, when we used to do, um, Weekend Madness and cars that we mentioned quite a few of his fights. Have we, yeah? Yes, we have. All right, cool. We, have. we definitely mentioned the Stuart Hall fight. Yeah, we, we must have yeah. done the Stuart Hall fight. Yeah. Here's what I like about Paul Butler. <clears throat> young, he's talented, and he's got ambition. Mm. He's mixing up the weight classes, going up, going down, trying to get world titles. Got fighting for another world title. This was near his third? Second. Second, second yeah. world title. Yeah. Second world title. He's fought for the, the yeah. continental yeah. titles and stuff. But um, he shows he's got ambition, he's got talent. He is tremendously talented. Mm -hmm. Let's not be let's not be fooled. People are trying to say that he could be the most talented boxer in Britain. Mm. I think the problem with people making statements like that is that you need the performance or a marquee name to show that talent. Good I point. think he goes through the weight classes the way he's going up then down to try and get a marquee name. Stuart Hall was a name over here. Yeah, he, he, he took the fight in the yeah. yeah. No, you're right. Um, we we've got a situation here where, like you say, and I. I'm, Kind of agree-ish. We could have the most, in terms of boxing skills, he could be the number one in the country. In terms of boxing ability, yeah. I mean, he, he won the ABAs. He's 26, so yeah. he's got to get a move on, yeah. by the way. 26 isn't that young. Yeah. And you, um, you grow up, you put weight on easier. Yeah, and obviously he went up in weight to fight Stuart Hall, won that title, close decision. Yeah. I've watched that fight a few times back before doing this video. Yeah. It was a very close decision. He's coming back down to what is his natural weight now, which I think is a 51 kilogram weight. Um, he needs a big name. Look, he's going to win this title and he's going to be a two-time world champion yeah. and he's still not really known in, exactly. in this country. See, the thing about it, uh, when you fought um, Stuart Hall, I like Stuart Hall, and it showed how good Paul Butler is. But you also got to be re realistic as well and say that Stuart Hall was in his early 30s at a much smaller weight class. Guys at that age don't stay around that long in those type of weight classes because he's struggling on the body. And then Stuart Hall lost his last fight, his fight yeah. after that, yeah. which shows me he's at not just Stuart Hall, so he was slowly coming down. Yeah, I agree. You need to fight, you need you need to get pulled by in there with someone that can actually show him. I guess what I am the real deal. I am the peak of my abilities. I am what I say I am. Mm. My fans are right to put me where they put me. But like I said, unless you got a good B side, it's hard to say. It's similar when uh Frotch for when Frotch was fighting. No one knew how good Frotch really was. And when he fought Pascal, we're like, wait a minute, that was a war. He just went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Pascal. Yeah, yeah. And then he was like, wait a minute, maybe maybe he can try to fight the lights of the division around there. Same thing when he, same when Frotch fought Jermaine Taylor. Oh, he's got Jermaine is too fast, too this uh, got dropped, came back and showed his will, his heart. You you only know how good you are once you fight the top oppositions. Yeah. But the top opposition, unfortunately, in this country don't exist. No, don't I mean the only one that exists for him really and it's yeah. gonna be a fight that yeah. ain't make is Calvi Fire. Yeah. Calvi Fire is the yeah. same weight class and Calvi Fire is what I think Commonwealth yeah. European. Yeah. So Calvi Fire is picking up yeah. all the belts that Paul Butler, yeah. I dare say, isn't yeah. leaving yeah. kind of leaving yeah. behind. Um, and that fight needs to happen. Will it happen? Eddie Hearn, Frank yeah. Warren? Probably not. The big shame for Paul Butler yeah. is Derry Matthews, Richard Abriel fight not going ahead. Yeah. That was going to be on the same card. Yeah. That would have given the exposure, exposure he needs to have. Point. That fight isn't happening anymore. Look, I get the fact that Paul Butler's from um, up north. It would have been, for me, a perfect opportunity to put him on the card of Tyson Fury and Chris Eubank. A fight that's going to get so much exposure yeah. down here in terms yeah. of two, yeah. if you like, yeah. marquee names. It's a, known it's in a card that's not going to be missed. Exactly. And I think Paul Butler being on this card to yeah. kind of get his name out yeah. there. Would have been would have would have done wonders. It sounds disrespectful, but him headlining doesn't give the general public or the general fans a name that you know. This is it, especially yeah. against Tete. Yeah, and it's not his fault. No, but no, it's not his fault. It's not his fault. See, the thing the thing about it as well that like, in that division, yeah. the man previously was um Omar Navis. Okay. Yeah, he was the man in the division previously. He I mean he could be, he went up and waiting for um Donair and got destroyed. Yeah, but. I think Navis might have retired now. I think he, might have, or he mentioned he might be retiring shortly. The part of making is that the top guys in that division are not really marquee names. They're not how the top guys in the division are always the B sides. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't want to be a B side. He needs a impressive performance, especially at his natural weight class, and try to do a number on a talented fighter. Look, he he went up to bat and weight. He fought Stuart Hall. He won that. He came back down in weight because he said the weight yeah. was almost too yeah. big for him. Yeah. No, for he's, me, he's, he's tiny. He's yeah, tiny. he is a tiny guy. His frame, up. everything. Yeah, extended, yeah. Unfortunately, 
you need to go up in weights nowadays. People are doing it all the yeah, time. Can. We're yeah. seeing it. We're seeing guys at 130 go up yeah. to 147, and guys at 135 going to 140. No. Crawford no. at the 140, I, I, he's just moved up. No. You almost I, have to go up in weight. I think the difference is that those guys are normally taller. Yeah, what, what, what is he? He looks really small. Where even the likes of like Crawford and um um Donato, like, those guys, even they got from weight, they look the same size. Yeah, they're the same than the same size as the other guys. It's hard to put on weight when, when you're like that, especially when you're Paul Butler is tremendously fit. Mm. Yeah. So the type of training he's doing, the type of rowing he's doing, he's not putting on weight. Was he? He's 17 unbeaten, I think, isn't it, Paul Butler? I think he's 17 wins, 17. Yeah. I think his knockout record though is only. I think it's only eight knockouts. Again. The lower weight that's yeah. something to happen, yeah. these guys seem to go yeah. 12 rounds for yeah. fun. Mm. Problem with this Tete guy that um, you talked about Paul Butler's uh, height advantage, mm. Tete's 5'9, yeah. which is huge yeah. for a super flyer. So I don't know if, if, if that range is going to yeah. cause problems for it, Paul Butler in the first few rounds. Paul, Paul Butler is a talented boxer, but it was showing the arm um, last fight with Ron Rigo when he fought the tall Japanese guy. Which Japanese yeah. guy is that that range and leverage gives boxers problems, not because you can't box them, but when you want to posture up and get your jabs and get certain things off, you have to get with that long, huge reach. You've got to do a lot of fainting, a lot of slipping, a lot of footwork to get under those shots or around those shots to land your shots. So it makes it a more pressurized fight for you. All right, so obviously it sounds like you're going for a Paul Butler yeah, decision. I'm, I'm, going, I'm going for a Paul Butler decision. I like Paul Butler. I think he's talented. I think he's got all the ability to make it far, but he needs he needs some sort of push. He needs some sort of need, He's not going to make it by himself, unfortunately. Yeah. He needs something to help him along Massive the way. Massive marketing, by the way. Yeah. I think he needs. Yeah. He needs, huge yeah. he needs something to get him along the way. But he deserves all the exposure, all the credits he gets. Yeah. He's a world champion. Put it this way. Here's what's disgusting about this: that right now, if you go to any boxing fan out there and say, "Name me all the world champions in England," they'll forget him. Very good point. That's the point. Yeah, and it's upsetting. Let's get Paul Butler out there. Let's. Everyone, watch the fight, that's all I can say. But you know, you're right. Um, hopefully a lot of people haven't sort of surrendered their tickets because Dave Matthews fights yeah. Even though I think Dave Matthews is still on the card. Hopefully they've not surrendered tickets and hopefully everyone gets to support this card because it is, it's Paul Butler. We're talking about a possible two-weight world champion, champion in this country. Yeah. There's no, not many guys yeah. in this country ever that have done two-weight world champions. That's what I'm trying to say. But I guess, like most guys, they want you to beat someone yeah to kind of solidify that world title and maybe Tete is not that guy but hopefully he wins this fight so, and hopefully he does take a fight with Kelly Fight. Sorry to cut you off, but that's the thing about it, with the, with the super flyweight division, Tete is the name over there, you've got um, Kofi Kamidas over there as well. These are decent name fighters, but they're not names that are generally known out there. So no matter who you beat in the division, you're not going to get the credit for it. Yeah. That's right. what I'm trying to say. It's tough. Right, there you this go. Is, sorry, this is where the love of- The video's got to go. This is where the love of boxing is, where you just watch the fight no matter who you fight. All right, there you go, guys. Um, so that's it, um, Paul Butler. Um, I can't remember, I think it's March 8th. Could be wrong. I'll just double check that date. March 8th. Um, I think it is March 8th, yeah. Uh, Derry Matthews undercard, it was supposed to be. Or oh, was he supposed to be topping the bill? Or Derry Matthews? I think Derry Matthews, Derry Matthews would have been topping yeah. the bill in April, yeah. So he now, uh, Paul Butler topping the bill. Again, Ryan says he needs the support. He needs that love, doesn't yeah. he? And hopefully, if he does get that big fight with Kelly Fire in the summer, will be a good one. British yeah. good fight. Uh, both of them need it. No, they both need it. Both need it. Um, don't forget to email your thoughts to us at boxtalk at hotmore.co.uk, on Twitter at boxtalk uk, and on Instagram at boxtalk underscore one. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching another edition of Box Talk.